Now let's talk about it. Today we'll be talking about the top, front, and side views of Q structures. Let's analyze the top view in structure number one. Structure number one's top view has one, two, three squares. So we draw three squares. Look at now this structure. It has one, two, three squares. So we will draw three squares. However, if the structure has a depth change, we have to underline it dark. Since this one has a depth change, we have to underline this line dark. And let's look at the front view. The front view has one, two, three, four squares. Look at the structure. It has one, two, three, four squares. So we all have to draw four squares. Now let's look at the side view. The side view has one, two squares. Look at the side view of this structure. It has one, two squares. Now, so we draw two squares. Since this, since it has a duct change over here, we have to have a, we have to unline this black or dark. Now let's talk about the structure number two. Structure number two's top view has one, two, three, four, five. So we have to draw five squares. Since we have lots of depth change, we have to find the ones that have depth change. So we have one here, here, and here. So we have to underline all the ones that we have depth change dark. Now let's, let's talk about the front view. The front view has one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll draw six squares. Since we have depth change here, here, and here, we have to underline dark. And now let's talk about the side view. The side view has one, two, three, four. So we will draw four squares. Since we have depth change over here, we have to make this line darker. I hope you enjoy my video. Thank you.